Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to review a limited edition ice cream from Killer Creamery. It's called Free Whaley. And we will sample this delicious sea creature right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah i feel like we're getting faster and faster with saying that intro i know man it's like boom 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 we got this. am i talking too fast i feel like i'm talking too fast like the speed of light but we don't want to make you sit through a long long intro anyway a big so. long spiel so Look today us, we're yeah like, we're matching we're super oceany well that's good because we're reviewing an ice cream from, called free whaley which is to benefit the killer whales in the pacific northwest i think that they like to be known as orcas orcas <laughs> because if they're called killer whales no one's gonna let them babysit their seal pups. Well, there's not many left. So Killer Creamery actually uh, teamed up with a company called the Rain Coast Conservation Foundation. I'm assuming they're a nonprofit. Yes. And all of the profit from this ice cream is going to them to help save the killer whales. I love it. So a little bit about this. This is from a company called Killer Creamery. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what Killer Creamery is, they're a an ice cream company that makes keto ice cream. So a little bit about this. This is a chocolate peanut butter cup with activated charcoal. Is it going to make me have hillbilly teeth? It might because uh, it's a black container and it's black ice cream. How fun is which that? Which I'm really interested in. Yeah. So uh, now Killer Creamery was nice enough to send this to us for this review. We it's didn't pay Killer for Creamery. it. So thank you very much guys. And we had the opportunity to meet them at KetoCon. They, they were, were really nice. awesome people. So let's, uh, a little bit of copy here on the side. It says there are less than 80 southern resident killer whales remaining. I guess they're okay with being called killer whales. Yep. So the rain, the rain Coast Conservation, it says for the last 10 years, Rain Coast has been using science, public education, and the courts to try and protect Canada's endangered population of salmon-eating killer whales. With their uh, Chickanook salmon stocks in serious decline and targeted by fisheries and a noisy and polluted ocean, they face extinction under the existing conditions. The good news is they can recover if these conditions are reversed. My parents went on an Alaskan cruise once, and out of all of the things that was just like so majestic going to Alaska was actually getting to see like a live killer whale in its natural habitat. That is so awesome. It was like miraculous. That's like my dream vacation as an Alaskan yeah. cruise. They said it was like the coolest thing ever. Okay, so on the back, on the other side, it says sales from this pint will support the efforts of the Rain Coast Conservation Foundation. Raise a pint. Now, it, this was limited to 2,000 pints. That's all wow. they made. And as of the recording of this video, today is the 7th, mm -hmm. they still have some remaining. So we're going to get this video right up so that you can possibly go get some. If you would like. If you'd like. And we do have a coupon code, which is 2 Crazy Ketos, which will get you 10% off. Now we're going to taste it and make sure it's not just fishy. Yes. <laughs> okay, so it says created to fit your low-carb lifestyle. So a little bit about the nutrition. It says their serving size is a half a cup, 85 grams. We always weigh it out for ourselves. Yeah. There's four servings in this container. Now, generally, when we do eat ice cream, which is usually only once a week, if that, we do a double serving for ourselves as a treat. So there is 190 calories in a serving. 150 of those calories are coming from fat. 17 grams of total fat, 9 grams of saturated fat. It has 5 grams of protein, 12 total carbohydrates per serving, 3 grams of dietary fiber, 6 grams of sugar alcohols, which is erythritol, and that makes it a total of three net carbs. Or six for us. Or six for us because, again, we're doing it on our Fridays where we only count net carbs. Double serving. Okay, so the ingredients in this, and they are tiny, but I can read it because I have my glasses. So the ingredients are cream, water, erythritol, peanut butter, peanut butter cups, mm. which are made out of peanut butter, cacao butter, cacao powder. Cacao! Monk fruit sweetener, which is erythritol and monk fruit extract. Himalayan pink salt, 
cocoa powder, chicory root fiber, whey protein concentrate, MCT oil, vegetable glycerin. That helps it like not become like an ice ball in the freezer. I like the MCT oil in it too. Yep. Uh, fruit juice color for coloring, pure vanilla extract, activated charcoal, and then the gums of xanthum, xanthum, locust, bean, and guar gum. And then it also has turmeric for color and stevia. All right. Okay. Are Let's you ready? See. Oh, I'm always ready for ice cream. What are you talking okay. about? Ooh, <gasps> look at this. Oh my goodness. That is like funky weird to be eating. It is like black licorice. Okay, I got you wow. a spoon. This has been resting out in our garage for about 20 minutes because it's brutally hot out there, and so it kind of sped it up a little bit. It will instantly melt people, okay. animals, and ice cream. Ready? We're going to do the Aaron thing. Wow. Wow. That is creamy. That looks good. Go ahead. I like to get a thing. What are you doing? I'm trying to get, like, if there's a topping. Wow, it is Black. It is black. Mmm. That is good. Do I have black teeth? Yes. <laughs> Classy. Mmm. Very creamy. You don't taste the charcoal. I don't taste charcoal, which I is see good. I can get a piece of peanut butter cup. Let's see. It's got little pieces. That's kind of what I was heading for, but I didn't get one either. I can They're not see. big. Yeah. I'm trying to see if I even You're ruining the ice cream. Sorry. That is good. Oh, I taste it now. That is really good. You know what it tastes like? It's got a subtle chocolate flavor, not overly chocolate. No. Which I actually like that. You know what it tastes like? Um the little crumbles that used More to be on the bottom of a... Ooh, I found the... Wait, I found some pieces. Of a Carvel ice cream cake. Remember those? Yes. The crunchies. They're like tiny like those in there. Here, give me your oh. spoon. Oh, is there a... I found a, like a little... It's not super peanut buttery. Mm -mm. It's little pieces. Like I just <laughs> got one. You have black lips though. Sorry. Mm -mm. Okay. Oh, I just got a nice piece of peanut butter cup. Sorry. Nice. I know. I didn't. I, I honestly didn't get a giant peanut butter cup. So, you want to put this through five things? Five things. Five things. So, if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. Now, we're not going to go way into Killer Creamery because we've done lots of Killer Creamery yeah. videos. Um, so, I'll leave a link for that playlist over Rachel's head if you're interested. Like black hands. Yep, me too. too. It's kind of cool. Okay. So, we rate all products on five things. We talk about the ingredients. Does a keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Okay, so uh, number one, the ingredients. As always. As always, the ingredients are really good. And I have to tell you, this one's exceptional for Killer Creamery. Yeah. Because usually the Killer Creamery, when you get one of their ice creams, it has a bunch of junk added into it. Which and we, we say love. junk is like, you know, a bunch of like nuts, things like that. Our favorite stuff. Sometimes the junk has some ingredients that are like, they're okay, but they're not the cleanest. Yeah. Like, you know, the brownies or something like that. We sort of look the other way because it's dessert day. Yep. I mean, again, they're not bad ingredients. Yeah. They're just like, not like as clean as, like they might have a little bit of canola oil within the brownie or we something We don't know like where this chocolate chip went to college. Right. Okay, but these ingredients are really good. I mean, erythritol peanut butter cups, and they're telling you what the peanut butter cups are made out of, which is peanut butter, cacao butter, cacao powder, monk cacao. fruit. So, uh, really, really good ingredients in this one. I yeah. think more, exce more exceptional than usual for Killer Creamery. Mm -hmm. So, number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, looking at the nutrition label again, it's 190 calories, uh, 17 grams of fat, 5 grams of protein, 12 total carbohydrates, and only three net carbs. A lot of times people are like, how am I going to get more fat in my diet? Eat some ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah. So, I mean, the one thing we always do say, if you're going to eat some, like, ice cream as a treat on keto, <laughs> stick to either trying to make it on your own, which we have learned recently can be very expensive. Especially if you're using the good whipping cream. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, stick, stick to the good keto ones. Don't really venture into the Halo Top or the the uh, what's the other one enlightened, enlightened. that everybody uses because they're, they're not keto but they're like they're more low um calorie. low fat and low calorie yeah they're low calorie they're not keto though because even one serving still gives you anywhere i've seen some of them like up to 12 net carbs 
I just you don't know, think so it's worth it. You're looking at most of those are like 8 to 12 net carbs. They, a lot of them have a bunch of like chemicals in them. They're not just clean ingredients. And right. they're not low fat. They're low calorie. Whereas like the Killer Creamery, the Rebel, the Mammoth Creamery. Mammoth, yep. They're, they're, they're made for like, you know, eating us. on keto. And this happens to be my favorite. So I'm hoping that Killer Creamery does start ending up in more of the stores down here in South Florida. We'll go broke. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so number three, how does it taste? I like it. I'm going to be really honest. Um, of all of the ones that we've had, this is probably my least favorite. No, really? Not because it's bad or anything. It's just usually when we eat from Killer Creamery, it's got like a junk in every bite. Right. Well, like you always loaded. like the ones like you're not a big fan of just buying vanilla or buying chocolate. And so we don't usually even order those this, because you want ones with junk in it. This tastes like... You know, a sweet cream. It's mm -hmm. good. I feel like, you know, it's a good fundraising opportunity. I love killer whales. So I'm super excited that they've partnered with this conservation organization. Right. But as far as like me ordering a whole bunch of these, probably I wouldn't. You probably wouldn't. Because there's lots of other flavors that they have that are delicious. Right. I happen to like it because, like, I'm a so-so chocolate person, so this one's kind of like a hint of chocolate, but not, like, overwhelmingly chocolatey. Yeah. And, you know, it, I do like getting the little bit of peanut butter cups. I wish there were maybe a little bit more in there. Yeah, me too. You know, but again, we may not have dug all the way down to the bottom. We took one spoon off of the top. Right. When I play, hey, my half is on the bottom, then I, yeah, I tend to get a lot more delicious things. Right. So it may be mixed in more, and we just, like, just trying to take one scoop off the top didn't get a lot because when I took a little bit deeper scoop I got some but I happen to like the taste of it yeah. and like you said it's not bad I love the fact that it's benefiting the killer whales me too so number four how much does it cost now when you're buying keto ice cream we suggest that you like get rid of the thought of Briar's ice cream two for five at public <laughs> because then you're just gonna get frustrated and be like wow this is too much money but it's not the same ice cream you need right. to kind of think about it more like when you're going out for ice cream and you're paying four or five dollars a cone, which you easily can if you're going to like Baskin Robbins or oh, something. Oh yeah, I mean we have ice cream places by us. It's like ten, eleven dollars just for one person to go get a couple of scoops of ice yeah, cream. Yeah, because they're making it with heavy cream, like they're making this with heavy cream right. versus like ice water and milk. Right. I always say that like these different keto ice creams are more on par with the higher end ice creams you're going to buy in the grocery stores. Like yeah. the, what is it? Tallini or something like that. I forget yeah. the name of them. Talente. 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 You know, those higher end ones. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, when you look at the, the cheaper brands, just like the, the store brand kind of stuff, the Briars, all those different ones, look at the list of ingredients on them. I mean, the list is ridiculously long. And it They're ain't not good. good quality ingredients. So no. there's a huge difference. So the Killer Creamery does sell for $8.99 a pint. And you have to buy it. You buy it in a case of four. Okay. Uh, now, if you buy two cases, which you can mix and match, like what kind of cases you want, mm -hmm. uh, they are. It does sell, come with free shipping. Oh, nice. Okay, so that's a nice. I think it's a ten dollars savings or something. And like that. And I think that. we have a coupon. Yep, and we have a coupon code, which is two crazy ketos. That'll get you another ten percent off. Every little uh, so bit. So it does come out to be eight dollars and ninety nine cents a pint, which again, it's a little bit higher end, uh, but. We look at it as a treat. It's a higher, it's not ground round. This is like filet mignon ice cream. Yeah, break it down. You're paying like what? $2 a serving? $2 and, you know, 10 cents, $2 and a quarter a serving. Still reasonable, I think. Absolutely. Now, I did want to say while we're on the price, I did want to mention they have this other flavor, which happens to be your favorite, right? The, the definitely, definitely dough, dough flavor. And this one here was uh, a collaboration they did with Perfect Keto. It's a Perfect Keto Salted Caramel MCT Powder, the, the nut butter, and then the Salted Caramel Bars. See, I, I'm sorry, Whaley, but there's like there's no comparing that to like the amount of junk that's in it. But you're just talking about the junk in it as opposed to the overall flavor. It's so, there's so much good little chunks Sometimes in there. I just like a nice smooth ice cream with nothing in it. But uh, but anyway, we tried this one. This was another limited edition so flavor. Good. Well, they still have some left. So for the next six days, it's actually seven days including today, but you're not going to see this until the 8th. Until they're sold out, it's $7 off a pint. Get uh, seven seven dollars $7 off uh, for the four pints. So instead of paying like the $36.99 or whatever uh -huh. it is, you're getting $7 off 
and you end up paying $7.24 per pint as opposed to $9 a pint. Oh, wow. And here's the best part. Our coupon code still works with it. Really? So you can get another 10% off on top of that. Wow. So... But again, this is still available. Maybe you want to pick up a four pack of this and a four pack of that. But I just wanted to mention this and that's why we're rushing this video out so that you guys can take advantage of this deal while it's still available. It's so, so good. And the deal is that only until they sell out of it. I guess they're trying to clear out room for another ice cream coming out. So. That doesn't make me sad. So number five, would we recommend it? Absolutely. I mean, the only reason why this isn't my favorite ice cream is all, of all times is because they've like rolled out other things like piggy butter in <laughs> the past. Creamy goody crunch. Or this definitely or dough. Or the definitely dough. So I'm like, I'm ruined for this one that's just delightful as opposed to like, oh my gosh, my mind just exploded. I will say this because they do have that peanut butter fudge one. I forgot the exact name of it. Mm -hmm. This one I think is better. Yo, it's got yeah. the pieces of peanut butter cup, whereas that one just has the little chunks of peanut butter in Agreed. it. Agreed. I like this one better. So if you're looking for a chocolate peanut butter ice cream while it's available, I recommend this one. Plus, I think this is fun with like Halloween, like not <laughs> far away, having black ice cream. And, Absolutely. And being a little spooky. And then also helping the environment. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Like, I can't minimize that either. What a but nice But overall, I mean, I absolutely recommend it. It's got a great taste. It's a great texture. Yes, it is a little bit more money, but you're paying for good quality ingredients. Yeah. So. You don't want me doing your dental work you want to go and pay a professional i mean i'm cheap but you're not going to be satisfied <laughs> well that is our video for today if you guys have ever tried any of the killer creamery ice creams let us know down in the comment section what your favorite flavor that you've tried is man it's hard for me to even think like piggy butter definitely the definitely dough there's a lot. I kind of like them all i even like just the plain mint one and the plain vanilla one. i think their vanilla one is great uh, they're all good, but I'm thinking like, what if what if I could be eating the other one right now? <laughs> well, let us know what's your favorite flavor. And also, let us know in the comment section if you're lucky enough to have Killer Creamery in your local store because they're not down here in South Florida. And might we be able to move in <laughs> to your basement or a spare room in your house? So that is our video for today. If you guys like what you saw, do us a favor. Hit the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we taste a delicious new ice cream, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.